Indian hockey team will play their final group game at the London Olympics against Belgium today. But no matter what the result, India are headed for the worst finish in the history of the Olympics. A demoralized Indian team take on a confident Belgian side in their last group match. Then the match starts at 8.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Now, having lost all four matches in the group stage so far, India would want to finally end this horror run. The team has looked completely clueless and out of ideas at London. It won't be easy either against the Belgians who have proved their strength in the Olympics so far. However, even if India pick up a win, they will still end up with the worst finish ever. India will play for the 9th to 12th categorization. India's worst performance so far was 8th at 96 Atlanta Olympics. India currently, of course, languish at the bottom of the points table, having lost all four matches so far. The Belgians on the other side uh, will be desperate to win this match and finish in the top half. Experts don't see much hope for India going into the match either. Belgium is a very strong opponent and uh, they're going to find it really tough uh, that the way that uh, they, they, they've ended today's match, uh, you know, the morale of the boys are going to be really down. Uh, I think uh, there is too much experimenting uh, that is going on over here. Uh, I think uh, uh, Nobs uh, has to keep it simple and ask the, ask the players uh, to play whatever they have learned in, in the camps. And uh, they're trying too many experimenting, uh, changing the goalkeepers, uh, they're trying too many stuff. Uh, Ashish Balalda reacting after the last defeat. Everything though which could have gone wrong for the team has gone wrong for the team. And coach Michael Nobbs creating a sensation by claiming that some of the players were not committed enough for the Olympics. While some experts have criticized Nobbs' poor team selection for India's woeful performance as well. Well, let's shift focus now and get to the other big uh, events uh, and, of course, the results that have been happening across at London. First up, a major upset in the women's pole vault event as two-time Olympic gold medalist Elena Esenbaeva was dethroned. American Jennifer Sua winning the gold in dramatic fashion to end the Russians' reign as the undisputed queen of pole vault. American uh, Sua, there, who was the silver medalist at Beijing won the medal with an effort of 4.75 meters to finally get her revenge on Isimbaeva. Isimbaeva, who won gold in 2004-2008, could only clear a 4.70 meter and had to be satisfied with a bronze medal. Cuba's Yaroslav Silva snatched the silver medal. Kirani James of Grenada lived up to the hype as he stormed the gold medal in the men's 400 meters event. James won the race after clocking 43.94 seconds. This was the first Olympic medal for the Caribbean island of Grenada. And uh, Lugli and Santos of Dominican Republic took the silver with a time of 44.46 seconds, while Lalonde Gordon won the bronze medal after clocking 44.52 seconds. Interestingly, this was the first 400 meter final without a single American competing in the final race. Felix Sanchez of Dominican Republic won a gold in the men's 400 meter hurdles Olympic title. Sanchez won in a time of 47.63 seconds. The American Michael Tinsley ran a personal best of 47.91 seconds to finish second, while favorite Javier Coulson of Puerto Rico took bronze. This is the second time that the 34 year old Sanchez won the 400 meter hurdles title. He first won uh, the crown the title of the medal at 2004 Athens. That about does it uh, from the team here on Game Football. Up next is Head Start, but continues to stay.